I've never done this with this cave before, so uh, I looked up a video. So thank you to TGT Teachers Game Two. Uh, he flew down here in a, a glider, so I'm gonna try something slightly different because there's no glider on the island. I didn't fancy spawning one in. I'm gonna use an Archaeopteryx. I think I say say it. A bit worried because I know the stuff in here is a really high level, and I have zero dinosaurs apart from my Archaeopteryx. So let's see how we get on. I'm using a keyboard and mouse for this. Um, it's tap R to come down, tap R again to stop falling down. But the longer you take between pressing R's, the further you fall and you keep going down. Oh, just touch ground then. It's hot in here. Right, so I've just got to follow this, follow this down. There's not much in the way of dinosaurs at the moment, which is good. Nope, oh, have I ever done it? I don't really want to be touching the floor. The floor is lava. <laughs> yeah, he said that too. So, okay, well, maybe I could have brought my dinos down. There's not a lot going on. It's not too bad. Not what everyone's complaining about. So, yeah, gliding down, I'm going to go this way. Hopefully, I'm not going to clip that because I'll be dead. Oh, here we go. Here's the dinos. Ooh, I don't want to fall in the holes. Nice steady descent. <laughs> yeah, this, this is well dodge. Oh my god, look at that life. If I fall down there, I'm just... That's it. It's going over. Well, there's all my tech gear. Keep me up, Archaeopteryx. Keep me up. Oh, the Rexes, you can bog off. Let's see if I can learn into the lava, what do you reckon? Does this thing run out of stamina? I mm, don't know. Oh god, I hope we don't run out of stamina over this. I don't, don't want to die. Maybe I, maybe I shouldn't have done that. I've not even fallen in the lava. Okay. Slowly does it. Oh god, there's more of them down there. Is that a UT Rex? Oh, this is well dodge. Well, I haven't run out of stamina yet. Let's give it another go, see if I can get something in the lava. Apparently you can be you can lure them in here, but Oh, this is all sketchy. Is that a giga tail I say? Well, just, okay, yeah, get stuck on the rocks. Stuck down a little bit, yeah. Don't come after me. Oh no! It's, it's in me. Ah no! Oh my god! Oh, I thought I was going to end the Now what do I do? Run! Just run! If he's after me, <laughs> let's go get through that bubble. Tech boots work. Good. Oh no! Not another giga. Super run, come on! This is oh, this is what dodge and with throw. Whew, apparently nothing follows you through that barrier, so yeah, I'm quite pleased about that. And it's gone freezing cold. So let me check. Yeah, we're all good behind. That's well dodge. Right, onwards and upwards then. It's just a run up here, and then uh, yeah, we'll be good. What the hell? What is that? Oh, I thought nothing was supposed to come in here. Oh my god, oh my god. That's a terror bird. Where did that come from then? Nothing's supposed to follow you in there. Ah, I guess it's me, isn't it? So, that's going to happen. Getting stuck on this isn't going to help. Is it still following? Mm, can't see it. Can't see it at all. Right, I need my otter out. Great, so I can't use cryopods at all. Nope, can't use my cryopods. So, yeah, brought some fur armor with me, so I'll have to uh, be putting that on. I'll be keeping the jetpack. 
just in case you're wondering how we're going to do this. And again, thanks to TGT. Show me how to do this without dinosaurs. And again, now I'll show you how to do it, how I, how he showed me how to do this without the dinosaurs. But uh, yeah, right now my anxiety levels are through the roof. There's, it's just me, my tech armor, and my shotguns, which I am going to use to hopefully complete this on alpha, as you can see by the red. First time playthrough of this part of the arc and I'm doing it on alpha and I don't have dinosaurs now is that stupid stupidity I don't know probably is stupidity or a massive case of overconfidence I'm not sure which but I'm in it now in it to win it so uh, yep 10 seconds left and we go meet the oaks here hopefully hopefully I I come out alive. Look, like Mad Max, two men enter, one man leave. And I want to be the one that leaves. Oh yeah, let's forgot about this. This is the cool bit. Uh, there's, the, there's a hologram of the uh, dragon over there. Oh yeah, I got some fur armor on first. Take it. It's, it's freezing cold in here. There's Broodmother. Megapithecus is over to the left. Alright, I can't remember which. That's cool though. There he is. Look at that. That's not Earth, is it? And look in the, look in the Earth, I've, I know. Far too much land mass there. What we got over here then? Ooh, monkey. Monkey! This this is cool. This is a side of Arca, like I said, I've not seen before because I've never done this before. So I'm seeing it for the first time. Apart from watching it on the videos, obviously. But first time I've played through it. That looks a bit more earthy over there. What's in there then? Man. Okay, so it's monkey to man. Are they trying to say something? Evolution. Yeah, that's definitely earth. Right, now. I live in the northern hemisphere. Where am I? Where's England? Just about there. Yep. Good old England. Yeah, we're in a lockdown at the moment, so uh, I'm still working. Anyway, that's enough about me. We're nearly at the end. Well, that looks like Mars, dead planet, doesn't it? Yep. Yeah. Definitely looks like Mars. What have we got going on in there? Yeah, I don't know. I want to get to the end. I want to see this overseer. Ooh! What's that then? Oh, that's where the loot crates come from. So all the loot crates. Whoa. Oh, that's a drop. That's bigger than the Blackpool Tower. <laughs> all the loot crates come from up there. Look at that. That is quite impressive. That's a good view. You don't often see that, do you? Yeah. My base is down there somewhere. My base is. Can't see it obviously. Far too small. Maybe we should make a base so huge you can see it. Is this the right way? Yeah. So, oh, here we go. Getting to the end of this cool bit now. Now it's going to get intense. Right. I think from now on I am going to stop talking and I'll record a voiceover afterwards because this I need to concentrate and I can't do two things at once apparently. Well, so my wife says anyway. There's the island. 
Okay, I shall be back in a sec as a voice. Hi, this is yeah, this is me talking afterwards as a voiceover. Yeah, I really did need to concentrate on this. So you have a jetpack on your tech suit and hover about mid-level. Wow, this is so cool. And there is one Alpha Overseer. Now if you're on a keyboard and mouse and keyboard, uh, right shift will you can press it and let go and you'll hover at whatever height you're at. And the only thing which is really going to give you any grief when you're up here, don't worry about the little drones on the floor. Uh, the little ones on the floor. Just worry about the drones in the air. Yeah, don't worry about the enemy forces. You can't hurt him while he's in a bubble. And it's like a shield, it's completely protected. They, if they hit you, it will stop you from shooting. Um, they don't hurt you, but I think that they damage your armor a bit. My armor did end up being quite damaged after this. And those little drone things are the only things up here which are going to give you any grief. Aim just in front of the little central glow bit, and you should be able to hit them. There you go. It was zapped by his uh, by his rays of death. Bosh. Oh. Shotgun's got half decent range on it, but the closer you get, the more damage it does. He's always ducking behind these pillars. Uh, so he's spawning in some more drones and some more enforcers. That's cool. Look at them other arcs out there. There you go, more of these annoying little things. Uh, just keep plugging away at him. Like I said the only thing up here that's going to hurt you is his ray and then the annoying little drones which end up right above the egg. My shotgun is just over 300%. It's, uh, yeah, it took me a long time to find a decent shotgun on the drops. And I've crafted myself 2,000 2,000 shotgun cells. It took me forever. And it's very expensive to make. Uh, take the drones down. Uh, speeding it up here just so that uh, you don't get too bored. Just keep plugging away and you got to wait for him to morph into one of the three guardians. You see I'm doing some damage to him. So I'll put the damage markers back on. One so you can see that I'm doing damage and two so that I can see I'm doing damage. Keep popping away at them. Then you get hit by the rays. And he's going to stop shooting and reloading. You just literally float around nice as you like, taking your time and plugging away at it. I didn't use too much element either, overall. I think I used about 20 or 30 pieces. And we have the first morph, I think. Yep, Broodmother. So watch. She can't get you. And you can do some serious damage to her. Keep plugging away. You can see they're on Alpha, they've got the red health bars above them. And look at all that on her back, that looks like loads of baby spiderlings, doesn't it? Now, as I said, he'll go through all three phases. Uh, and again, you probably don't want to watch me popping right at this, so um, I think we'll speed it up a little bit. Let's get a little bit of fast forward speed time. Here we go. Bop, 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 bop. Yep. Shame the shotgun only holds six shots, but it is pretty powerful. Yep. 
The only thing is, I want to stand right underneath him. It's very, you can't shoot completely down. If you take them out when, you, when you're doing the bosses, these, uh, like the Broodmother, the Dragon, and the Megapithecus, you've got nothing to worry about hitting you, apart from on the Megapithecus, which we'll, we'll come to. So, so far, so good. Looking alright, isn't it? I must be honest, I was, I started off very apprehensive when I was doing this. Thinking I've overdone it because I'm not an MLG. I like to think I am. But I'm not. I'm a noob. There we go, she's nearly down. Sweet, so Broodmother's down. You can see how much damage he's got. Let's wait for the uh, thing to come out with a little protective bubble. More drones appearing, more enforcers. Do not go down on the ground because you'll die. Keep an eye out for them little bubbles up in the air. And yes, stunned. Shoot. Shotgun's actually got half decent range on it, providing you can hit. And did you see I don't always hit? Nice little cluster, Let's take them out. Take the time, you see my health isn't going down, even though they're hitting me. Well, I think that's just a leftover from where I come in the cave. Food's going down a little bit. Where's it going? Yeah, sometimes, believe it or not, I've got everything like that, it's hard to find it. Again, I've just walked across a little bit. So you don't want to see me. This fight took me about an hour and twenty minutes. I'm not going to lie. And this video is not an hour and twenty minutes long. So here we go. Right, you want to stay out of the range of his boulders. And don't do what I do here, which is accidentally drop down to the ground because then you're right in the way of his boulders, and then this happens. Smack. <laughs> And I was like, oh no, oh shit, what am I going to do? So I fly up high. Keep plugging away at him. You can see I've nearly bought it then. Just fly around. Now, again, thank you to TGT for showing me this. I will give him a shout out because I uh, didn't know how it's going to send before. But I am, believe it or not, heading for a little safe spot. You kind of glitch through the through the pillars on this, I noticed. We're heading for that little pointy bit on the right of the screen now. Just to the left of the crosshair and up. We're gonna land on that. But up high he can't actually get you, but I still tend to strafe when he throws his um heading over that way. When he throws his rocks. So it's the only thing which is going to hurt you, as you can see. Uh, landing on this, just go up to it, and you land on it. Sometimes you glitch into it. This class is land, and you can suck your brews, eat your food, change your armour, go make a cup of tea. <laughs> well, you probably don't do that, but yeah, you know what I mean. You're safe there. And then carry on, here we go. Be bubble double dub. Plugging away at him. Keep strafing when he throws the boulders just to be on the safe side, but if you're high enough they won't get you. But this this turned in turns from being stressful and anxiety provoking to uh, just like a war of attrition really between me and the overseer. You can see I've used up a good few, uh, good few rounds already. Well, you will do it like this. And uh, let me get out of the sequence. Yep, I missed a couple of those. They don't always come up, and they can get stuck behind things. So uh, just keep your eyes open for them for drifting about. And he's nearly down. That's normal speed. Go, bosh. Megapithecus killed. So just watch out for that boulder attack because it really does hurt. 
and you get hit by two and I think it's going to be game over. They've done about a third of his health already, they've had two bosses. You can shoot them on their way up. If you're good enough shot, which I'm not. So it takes me a few shots. Zapped again. And I think we need to do a bit of a time warp now. Because again, you don't just see me plugging away at the same old thing. And then see him turn to dragon. There we go, now this is a tanky one. Again, can't hit you up here with flame breath, you can't fly. But he's got an awful lot of health. One thing I didn't like is getting too close to the edge because he kind of faces up and then I was worried that he was going to do his uh, breath attack upwards at me. So once I realised what was going on I did straight back into the middle and he followed me. But this is how you can up too close to the edge. Taking out these little things. There we go, speed it up. This is at two and a half times speed if you're interested and if you're still watching obviously hopefully you are and just plug 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 and you want the highest level shotgun you can find otherwise you're going to need an awful lot more bullets I did bring a spare just to be on the safe side which has slightly less damage I think that was 275 the backup one I am on PvE settings a single player <coughs> You can see they've still got an awful lot of health though. It'll take an awful lot of doing. But as you can see, he's, he's, he's achievable this way, we can do it. I was surprised when I saw it. I thought I won't be able to pull that off. But I'm here to tell the tale. Talking to you all now. <laughs> Not that it's real life, obviously. It feels like it sometimes, though, doesn't it? You get so involved in the game. That death in the game is just like... I don't know. Losing, uh, crashing the car or something. Uh, you can see, even with his tanky health, he's going down. And look at those, those shotguns. 126 times over many hits he gets on it. Slowly plug away, don't rush it, take your time, that's what he told me, TGT told me. But he didn't tell me personally, but that's what he said in his video, and here we go. End of the Alpha Dragon. And later on in the game they spawn with less health, a lot less. So I think we'll do a time warp, skip a chunk out, and let's jump to the end. So yeah, here. I've been doing this for, I think I cut 40 minutes out of the uh, video of just me flying around, shooting at stuff, and two by my ammo. I've used up about 1700, and one overseer is killed. This is so cool. And I said before, I've not done this before. Normally, I get bored in an arc after taming and building stuff, and then I just jump to another one. So actually having completed, the Overseer on Alpha on the island is a massive personal achievement for me. The only thing I regret is right now I don't go straight down. I fly over here for some strange reason. So I don't get to see what's in that circle. Well, I don't get to see that, but that's like Earth with loads of arcs around it. For some reason, I decided to land over here. And then the screen starts fading out. Like, ah, run back. So. Then this cutscene was just awesome to watch. All the different arcs floating around. So I'm going to sign out. I'm going to let you watch this. If you've watched it this far, far, please give me a like, please give me a subscribe. I absolutely love this game. I love RPG style games, survival games. Um, I'd love you to take along and watch some more of my content as I build my channel up. Enjoy the cutscene.